Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. Today I'm not going to read you this book. Your mummies and daddies will read this book. This is my book that I wrote and it will help your mummies and daddies to help you at school. It tells them all about my 50 years in the classroom. It's called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. And they can get it from amazonbooks.com. But today I'm going to read you, and you probably guessed because you see the dinosaur here. I think uh, um, all three books today are going to be about dinosaurs. How do dinosaurs get well soon? How do dinosaurs say good night? And how do dinosaurs eat their food? All right, and I think we have Mr. Stegosaurus here to help us. The first book is called How Do Dinosaurs eat their food. And I hope my grandchildren enjoy this book too. Max and Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. How do dinosaurs eat their food? How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he burp? Does he belch to make noises quite rude? Does he pick at his cereal? throw down his cup, hoping to make someone else pick it up? Does he fuss? Does he fidget or squirm in his chair? Does he flip his spaghetti high into the air? Does a dinosaur glare? How does a dinosaur eat all his food? Does he spit out his broccoli, partially chewed? Does he bubble his milk? Stick beans up his nose? Does he squeeze juicy oranges with his big toes? No, he says please and thank you. He sits very still. He eats all before him with smiles and goodwill. He tries every new thing, at least one small bite. He makes no loud noises. That isn't polite. He never drops anything onto the floor. And after he's finished, he asks for some more. Eat up. Eat up, little dinosaur. <laughs> and girls and boys, you know it's, it's always good to be a trier, to try new foods at least a little bit. And you just might like them. Hope you like that book. The next one is about dinosaurs again. How do dinosaurs say good night? Oh. How does a dinosaur say good night when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? Does a dinosaur stomp his feet on the floor and shout, I want to hear one book more? Does the dinosaur roar? How does a dinosaur say good night when mama comes in to turn off the light? Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? Does he mope? Does he moan? Does he sulk? Does he sigh? Does he fall on the top of his covers and cry? No, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn out the light. They tuck in their tails and they whisper, good night. They give a big hug then give one 
kiss more. Good night. Good night, little dinosaur. Such fun. And this one. How do dinosaurs get well soon? These are such wonderful illustrations by Mark Teague. What if a dinosaur catches the flu? Does he whimper and whine in between each achoo? Does he drop dirty tissues all over the floor? Does he fling all his medicine out of the door? Does he flip off his covers with tooth and with tail? Does he tip up his juice and get sick in a pail? Does the dinosaur wail? What if a dinosaur goes to the dock? Does he drag all his feet till his mum is in shock? Does he hold his mouth closed when he's told open wide? Does he scream? Is he mean? Does he run off and hide? Does he push back each drink? Spit his pills in the sink? Does he make a big stink? Is that what you think? No! He drinks lots of juice and he gets lots of rest. He's good at the doctors, cause doctors know best. He uses a hanky on mouth and on nose. He snuggles right down underneath the bed clothes. He takes all his medicine without a fight. He closes his eyes. He whispers, good night. Then Mama and Papa tiptoe out the door. Get well, get well, little dinosaur. Well, I hope you behave like that when you're sick. These dinosaurs taught us some very good lessons today. Thanks for joining me, girls and boys. See you next time for Read Me a Story. Bye for now.